Hello, praise God. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Naomi. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly I ask you to subscribe and also remember to hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a video, you can be able to know you will get the notification. So today I want us to talk about something that is very rampant in the society, yet people don't talk about it as much or as often as it should be talked about. And uh, many people are in relationships and they are suffering, especially emotionally, in those relationships. They are in toxic relationships. And today, I want us to look at toxic relationships. I want us to look at characteristics. What are the red flags that you're supposed to watch out for? so that you can know whether you're in a toxic relationship because naturally a relationship is supposed to be satisfactory it is supposed to, you're supposed to have a feeling of contentment you know a feeling of joy yes relationships have their ups and downs but generally you're supposed to have that contentment when you're in a relationship but many people don't have that contentment so i want us to look at the red flags what are the red flags that we are supposed to watch out for but before we go to the red flags what is a toxic relationship a toxic relationship is a relationship where one party is manipulated you have that feeling that uh, someone is controlling you you're feeling manipulated a toxic relationship is an unhealthy unhealthy relationship and if you have that feeling or after we look at the red flags and you realize that you're in a toxic relationship then my dear i advise you to walk out because you will be emotionally drained you will never have peace every time you will be feeling as if you're in a prison a toxic relationship is poisonous it poisons your emotions and it can lead even to depression it is one of the reasons why we see many uh, marriages suffering, many relationships suffering where you find uh, one partner in a relationship has killed the other. Why? Because they are suffering emotionally, they are feeling drained, they are feeling caged, and they don't know how to escape. So uh, a, a toxic relationship is a, is, a very, is a very unhealthy relationship, a poisonous relationship. They drain you emotionally, they manipulate you, and it is always right for you to walk out in case you're feeling trapped in one. So what are the characteristics? How do people who are toxic in our relationships behave? So the number one thing that we look at us is that these people twist everything you say. So they will twist anything that you say to make you feel bad about yourself. You could be just saying a point, maybe you are discussing as partners in a relationship, you're discussing about an issue, could be money, uh, could be, you know, your parents, could be your children, you're just discussing about something. Then suddenly they say something, you said, they twist it in a way to make you feel as if you are guilty, as if what you said was wrong. In short, these people always want to be right relationship. So in case your partner and I want to make uh, myself clear, I want to make myself clear that it is not all uh, in case someone, let's say in case someone has maybe one or two, it may be something that you can work out in your relationship. You sit down, you discuss, you tell your partner, I don't like this and this about you. Maybe they could try and change. But if you find that Several of these characteristics appear in your partner or appear in your relationship Then this could be a red flag that you're in a toxic relationship So one I've said these people they twist everything that you say They are them. They are the ones who are always correct They twist everything anything you say any point you try to make maybe to build each other concerning finances concerning your relationship they want to twist it they want to make them, them, they want to make themselves correct. They want to be the right ones in their relationship. Number two, these people, they use what is known as guilt trips to control people. So when, I'm, when I talk about guilt trips, 
this simply means that these people will make you to feel guilty in case they want a favor from you or they want you to do something for them they will make you feel guilty especially if it is something that they know you will be against most of the times you'll find that it is something wrong something that is not right they want you to do for them and they know if they ask you you will say no so they will guilt trip you they will make you to start feel to start feeling guilty they'll start uh, reminding you maybe of favors that you did not do for them in the past you know things they asked you to do and you refuse and then they'll start making you to feel guilty and then you start thinking and then you're like huh yes by the way they asked me or maybe my my girlfriend or my boyfriend asked me to do this and this for them and they did not do then you start feeling guilty and eventually you do whatever they want so in short what i'm saying is that these people are very controlling they are very controlling and in fact we look at their controlling attribute in some of the other characteristics but they are very controlling they want to control you they want you to do exactly what they tell you to do and if you refuse they get angry they start blackmailing you you know they start they, it can even lead uh, in some instances it can even lead to physical abuse so kindly watch out if your partner you check out your partner and you find that maybe every time they guilt trip you into doing things that you do not want to do because in every uh, relationship there are boundaries and someone is supposed to respect your boundaries someone is supposed to honor your boundaries if they can't honor your boundaries if they can't respect you maybe they know you can't go beyond a certain limit they can't take no for an answer then that is something definitely something to watch out for so i'll stop there for today next week we will continue with the same topic because there are so so many things that we need to look at so many red flags that you're supposed to watch out for so that you can be able to know whether you are in a toxic relationship and make the right choice so that is it for today i am naomi nasimiu kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not done so and until next time god bless you